Option 1 kit breakdown. A30 FSCFD PCB. Loctite super glue. Pair of rubber nitrile gloves. Adhesive safety sheet. Set of cable ties. F tool. Cable assembly. Three pole connector. And the A30 FSC FD TR PCB. Kit 2 breakdown. A30 FSC FD PCB. Loctite super glue. Pair of rubber nitrile gloves. Adhesive safety sheet. Set of cable ties. F tool. Cable assembly. And the slave relay and plug in relay base. It is recommended that you carry out a trial fit of the A30 FSC FD fault detector kit. Do this by removing PL5 and PL6 of the auxiliary board. Squeeze the retaining clips at the top and bottom of the plug and gently pull. Confirm that you are able to fit the A30 FSC FD board through the aperture. Prior to fitting the A30 FSC FD TR board, it may be necessary to move the terminals of TB1 further down the rail. This is possible by unclipping the end stops with a screwdriver. Every fault detector kit has undergone a full production test and inspection. However, if required, you can carry out the following functionality test. Plug the A30 FSC FD TR board into PL5. Plug Loom 5 into the TR board. Reconnect PL6 into Plug 6 of the auxiliary board. Connect the A30 FSC FD PCB and the A30 FSC FD TR PCB boards using the cable assembly supplied. This is done using sockets X1 and CON1. The rear of the A30 FSC FD board is insulated. However, take care to avoid any moving parts or other equipment that may become live. With a hot air gun, carefully heat the temperature detectors on the A30 FSC FD board. Excitation will trip around 80 degrees C and will usually take about 30 seconds. Do not increase the temperature above 200 degrees C. The A30 FSC FD TR board includes a latch arrangement to ensure that excitation cannot be applied until the reset button is pressed. With the relay wired as per the written instruction, carefully heat the temperature detectors. Excitation will trip around 80 degrees C and usually take around 30 seconds.
Mask PL5 with the tape provided and plug the cable assembly into X1 of the A30 FSC FD PCB. Having read and understood the adhesive safety sheet, apply a thin layer of the glue to the uninsulated area on the back of the PCB. Slide the A30 FSC FD board into position and hold firmly in place or use some of the supplied masking tape to hold the board in position. After two minutes, remove the masking tape. Plug the A30 FSC FD TR board into PL5. Connect the other end of the cable assembly into CON1 of the A30 FSC FD TR board. Plug Loom 5 into the TR board and reconnect PL6 into plug 6 of the auxiliary board. This completes installation of the A30 FSC FD fault detector kit.